some of you out here to do what you're gonna do when they come for you <laughs> wow welcome Traveling all over the globe. I'm making this. I'm doing this. I'm just, I'm a baller. I'm a baller. But you can't pay? Some of y'all need to stop faking it. Buying mansion, Bemis, living it up, eating lobster every day. But you can't pay. Can't pay me my money or... You need to pay up. I don't know who needs to hear it. Pay your bills. And I understand life is hard, this or, and we're going to economic crisis. But I was on YouTube streets, just minding my business, and I came across this video from Redirect. You, you know, when you want to find out information, just go on YouTube. You'll be shocked. And then when you hear what they're saying, then you go look it up for yourself. So I was on, I was listening to this YouTube channel. Anyway, what information she was saying is what I've been saying all along. Independent contractors, nurses that stay on the independent contractor and don't pay their taxes. I am so happy. I mean, I'm not happy that I have to give the IRS anything. No one is. But at the end of the year, I don't believe in, you know, stalling or make a payment plan so i save specially for that and i don't touch it and i wait until it comes in and believe me i'm sad i don't talk about it when i have to pay it out to the irs and i hadn't gotten any money back being an independent contractor and filing exempt on your federal tax it kind of give you a little control you feel control you controlling your own money it's okay to do that if you controlling it to the way and you're gonna pay it but when I used to see that some of the celebrities and I'm saying why do they owe the IRS why can't they pay their bills and a matter of fact I forgot his name but he went to jail for that but what I realized when it I happen to sign up and be exempt. If you don't diligently save aside for that, to me it's like when I was doing business, I was taking out taxes for the employees. It's a difference. You're doing, when you're an independent contractor, it seems like you're doing, you're taking out double taxes for some reason, but we're not saving it. And we're using, you see, the, the thing about nurses, we see the money. And man, we start calculating the money per hour. How much am I getting that? Well, I do, because I don't want nobody to come here say they don't do it, but I know I do like everybody else, but they won't say it. How much I'm getting paid if I do this 40 hours? We already have in our mind what we're going to buy. We don't, what we're going to do. I st I'm the one that see long term. I have to make sure the house is protected. I have a roof over my head. In other words, I'm one step ahead. Because sometimes, being a travel nurse, I'm sitting home. 
for months and months and months. So I have to budget to do that. I don't want to be in that situation. I don't want to be that situation anymore. I still have to pay the IRS. I still have to do. So I'm trying something different. I'll tell you what it is some in another video, what I'm trying to do right now that's going to alleviate all of that. So I wanted to come out here and talk about this. All I'm doing is giving it to the IRS. And I begin to wonder, is this independent contractor really work? Or maybe it's the accountant. It could be the accountant. Because some of them, they act like they're working for you, but they're actually working for somebody else. Could be, but you just hear it from me. It could be they're working for the IRS. I remember the accountant I had before. And I know my kids were saying, you need another account. That one ain't working for you. And I said, no, because I'm so loyal. And when you loyal, things happen to you. Don't be so loyal. But I learned the hard way. So as a nurse, you know, we don't make no money. So I decided during the Obama fiesta, that I was going to get the insurance because since I'm traveling, I didn't have any insurance. I decided, and I was doing the independent contractor forever. And I don't think you should stay on it forever unless you have a business. But then again, some of the nurses say they do. Can't tell you what the business is, but they all have a business. Anyway, I digress. I'm getting to the story. Bear with me. But before I continue, I want you to please, you know, it's very uncomfortable for me to stand before you and beg you for likes, beg you for engagement. This is not me. It's like I'm very uncomfortable. It's like I'm begging you for some money, and I'm not. I come here every time consistently at times if I'm not working and give you information. I may not do, may be slow with the process, but I get the information out to you. And I don't get any recognition. YouTube don't let my video go through because I don't have the engagement. And a lot of people come the first few hours and they may write a few comments and they may say, I'm subscribed to you. And in two or three days, they unsubscribe. I'm asking you and I'm begging you, please like this video, please engage so that I can produce more videos to give you some insight, especially you new nurses. If you don't like my video, I understand. Don't worry, I'm not mad. Anyway, so like it, share it, talk about it, leave a comment. Anyway, so I decided to get the Obamacare, you know, that insurance that didn't work a darn cent. And it was cheap, cheap for me and my family at the time. And I thought, oh, I got, I got a bargain here. I got cheap insurance. I'm covered. I'm doing my job and everything. File it, you know, because they give it to you, IRS. You have to put it on your tax, whatever. Few years, few years gone by, I had the insurance and I was going to, you know, re-extend it, extend it. I got a letter from the IRS that I haven't been um, something about the insurance. I made too much and I, I have to pay back all this large sum of money that they've been giving me for this insurance that every place I go, they wouldn't take it. Even though it was a Blue Cross and I went from Blue Cross to Kaiser and they said, we don't like this kind of insurance, the Obama insurance. I felt like I was on welfare and no, 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 please. That's how I felt. Like I was a, a dog. 
looked down on by the medical profession because of this insurance. So you know it wasn't that great. And, but I've been giving all the information to my accountant and she didn't file it. I don't know why. I cannot explain why because she passed away and all this start happening came out. IRS said, I owe a lot of money. I had to hire another accountant to straighten it out. And probably now it is caught up because I pay every time they say I pay. I try to fight it. I don't have, I'm not like the beehive that's situation going on. I don't have that kind of money to fight it. So the accountants that I hire did the best they can and they get it down, get down the late fees because my other accountant passed away. I feel she knew about it. Point blank. May she rest in peace. So ever since then, when I OIRS, one time they said it was daily interest, and I don't believe in that because 5000 will become 100000 before you know it. I met a lot of nurses in the process, and I asked them, I'm always asking, oh, did you file an exam? Because I want to know for myself, should I? It is tempting. Exempt is in tempting because you're getting all your money. The problem with that is, if you don't save it, if you don't put aside for IRS that money that's coming to you, that wholesome check, you spend it. You spend it. And I'm saying based on my self-experience, the money coming in, all money, no tax taken out, it's gone. It's gone. And I started to save and just seeing all the money go back to IRS at once, not partial at once every year. I decided this year I'm going to try something different. But anyway, I was on YouTube and Redirect was saying that the IRS... I read it. I read the article because there is actually an article. The one I'm reading for from is looks like it's the businessinsider.com. The IRS is hiring special agents preparing to use deadly force if needed and is paying up to $95,000. But I'm not, you know, I don't have a gun. I don't know how to use a gun and stuff like that. So this is alarming because all they, they, I also read that these police officers, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be police officer they're going to hire, investigator, investigate the money, actually follow the money wherever it go. So you buying those houses and believe me, I met like 10 nurses that told me that they pay cash for their house during the pandemic. But I personally know that they did not pay their tax. haven't been paying. Some haven't been paying. Some has been paying partial payment, daily interest payment. I don't know how the IRS figure it out. But what I learned, you can't keep doing this unless you have, I guess business people know how to do it. Technically, I'm trying something different. So I just wanted to come out. If you keep on doing it, you know, we talked about this. I talk about it a lot, being an independent contract. What does the contractor, <laughs> I'm sorry, being an independent contractor, what it means? Because no tax taken out, your state tax not taken out, Medicare, social, but they still take out something. But the big federal, it's not. You're getting all that money. 
Money is good, but it's what you do with the money. Is how you negotiate, how you put aside and budget for the IRS because I don't want nobody come knocking on the door and I'm pretty sure they not come knocking silent. From what this article is saying, they're coming at you. I'm not sure if they're coming at us little people, but I believe we're the one that's going to get caught up in the middle. So nurses, if you out there, you know, flexing your muscle and say you got this and you're buying this, just take care of your taxes. I know a lot of people may say, what is she out here telling me how to mind my busy, how to do what I'm not. I'm not. I know what I'm going to do to keep myself safe. I know what I'm doing to, in other words, I make sure I'm set up right. I'm going to stop there. Damn. Because depends on if you know how to um, shoot. I'm hoping it's a police officer. I don't know the effect of that, how, you know, bill collector, back in the days when bill collector called, how rude they were. This is something different. This is something new. I don't know if this has been going on IRS. Been, I guess they're losing a lot of money, so they're deciding to hire some special force to go hunt for the money. That means when you're sitting there in your house, eating your bomb bomb, traveling the globe, prepare, secure before you go away, because you might have to give that up, and you don't want to be a broke nurse. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you and have a wonderful day or night in your state or your country. Good night.